Hi, and welcome to A Country Life. I'm Jennifer, and today I have for you my family of nine Walmart haul. La, 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 la. Now, most of these things are gonna last us for a month or longer. I try to buy enough so that I'm not having to constantly buy things every single week. I have things in here actually from Walmart and some things from Aldi because I did a giant shopping today, um, which it came in right around four, five, it came in right under, I think, 600 bucks total. Instead of doing a Walmart and an Aldi haul, I just thought I would do a food and a household items. And the reason I'm doing it that way is because I keep those two budgets separate. I do um, food, under one envelope and then I do household um, stuff okay this is just kind of all those cleaning bathroom products um, just kind of all the stuff I call it my Walmart budget I don't always spend every penny at Walmart sometimes I spend it you know maybe shop go Dollar Tree wherever okay Aldi but for the purpose of my budgeting I just call it the Walmart envelope and we all know what that kind of stuff is for I'm going to run you through, uh, probably not as quick, whoop, just a sec, Peter, she's sleeping. If you did happen to see my giant grocery haul, which I just filmed earlier today in different clothes because in between I had to go to a business meeting, but if you happen to see that, you might notice that I was super rushed for that. I only had like 15 minutes to film that before we had to leave, and I just whipped through it. So I don't think I'm gonna go quite as quick this time, but but I'll try because I know your time is valuable and so is mine. Start with bathroom. A thousand cotton swabs. That'll last a long time. We needed some feminine products. Um, again, some razors. These are pretty nice. They actually hold up and last for quite a while. These makeup wipes come in at, I think they're 94 or 96 cents a package. There's 30 in here, so that lasts me a whole month. Of course, it doesn't because I have daughters who wear makeup and they take those too. But I bought an extra one because I still have um, plenty from the last time I bought one. Uh, my blush just ran out today. I usually wear CoverGirl Cheekers. This time I'm trying Maybelline blush in the color, uh, what is the color? 15. What is that color? Um, that is the color Nude. I also use the Charmin um, Essentials Strong. I found that sometime a few months ago they actually changed up the Aldi toilet paper and we just don't like it so I found this and we like it so I've been sticking with that all I can. Uh, Dixie cups to fill the bathroom dispenser. These the kids are going to get a kick out of. I'm not going to tell them though it says download scan brush. We're not going to do anything with that but they're still going to think that those little monsters are cute. A pack of baby wipes even though we don't have babies I like to keep those on hand for wiping things up, wiping hands when we're outside or on a little like if we're at the park or something. Four boxes of the lotion tissues. No longer are we in the cold season but we are in the allergy season so we still need lots of those. This is from Aldi here, a six pack of paper towel and then this giant thing of Tide. I've been using Tide for over a year now and I just find that it really does work well. And I just use this Tide Simply which is the cheaper version. Now we're working our way into the kitchen stuff. From Aldi I needed some Ziploc bags. I got the storage and the sandwich. And these little buggers I got from Walmart, three of them. I had gotten a pack of I think three or four from Dollar Tree two years ago. They were just plastic and finally about a week or so ago the last one broke. And so since I happen to be at Walmart this time I just found them there. These were $1.47 a piece. Didn't think that was too bad. Not as cheap as Dollar Tree, but I do think these are going to hold up longer because they are metal. Ouch, and they're sharp. I got parchment paper and aluminum foil and then a pack of household latex gloves. These I actually picked up at Aldi. They have a whole section now where they have a whole bunch of household cleaning products, a really nice scrub brush I saw there. So I picked out the latex gloves because it is time to clean the shower. Sometimes if I've just done my nails, I don't really want that magic eraser to take the finish off my nail polish and so I'll use these gloves when I clean the shower so that I can keep my nail polish good. I got some Murphy oil soap and that is to clean the cabinets above my stove. Don't mind these are kind of crooked here. A couple of years ago Warren built these cabinet doors and since they're full grain real wood, 
I really, I need to clean them a little bit specially to get the grease from the top. And then this Pledge Floor Gloss, I use this. And the deal with this Pledge, it puts a great shine on our hardwood floor. You just have to be sure that you sweep and then wash, let that dry completely, and then liberally apply this. I just sponge mop it all over. I try to do that at night so that it can dry overnight so you're not walking on it because it will leave footprints in it if you walk over top of it. But I've been using this for a long time. It's really time to apply it again. It probably should be done once a month. I bet I do it twice a year. So it's really time. So that's a big project that's on my on my list of things to do. Oh, let's not pass over the pens. I don't know where all of our pens have gone but I like the clicker pens, not the kind with the little cap. Joseph has really been into taking notebooks and pens lately, and so I think they are somewhere maybe around the trampoline or somewhere, I don't know. But anyways, I got this pack of pens. It was time for garbage bags and two packs of paper plates. We've got a lot of house company for the next, let's see, Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday till about noonish or so. So those are going to come in handy so we don't have to be washing all the dishes the whole time. All right, so that is it for my Walmart haul this month. My typical budget, if I, I can't remember if I said this earlier in the video, but I allot $200 a month for household supplies, and that would be all the types of things you see here. Oh, except I also bought two 40-pound bags of salt tabs for our, um, whatever that's called, the salt can, for the water conditioner, um, water softener, there we go. But $200, this did not come into 200, come up to $200. I will have to add it up for you and I will put a little amount flashing right here for you all to see. So there you have it, another monthly Walmart haul for our family of nine. And hopefully I will be able to get through most of the month with this stuff without having to purchase too much else. So if you're not shy and would love to answer this question, I'd really love to hear how much do you allot for your family um, for your kind of your household supplies. Please leave that in the comments. Remember, leave your family size as well because I know it's something that moms who are working at staying on a budget are really interested in. I just know that moms like to know that kind of thing. We like to know what other people are spending on things just to kind of help us with our own budgeting for our own family. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe tap the bell that'll keep you up to date on all of the brand new videos we'll catch you next time with a brand new video bye bye